Hi everybody, this is Azariel Flame here with Northwich Magic Co. And this video is exclusively for our patrons. Um, this is going to be covering the new Servitor that we have created for you guys. Now, this is something that we thought would be super cool. Um, we did a whole bunch of prosperity workings last month for all of you. And something that kept coming up was that an artificial spirit would be super helpful for everybody in the group to use. Um, and so we decided to go forward with that. Uh, we finished up the candle burning petition to Zeus and all blocks and everything have been removed for everybody, which was super cool. So now that with that on the go, we thought it would be awesome to bring this servitor forward that presented itself. Um, the servitor's name is Fallon. Um, and initially when Danielle started channeling him, we thought that he was just a Fox. Neither of us knew about this spirit form from Japan called the Kitsune. So what ended up coming forth is the pure raw energy of this spirit. Neither of us knew what a Kitsune was, neither of us knew those powers. We just knew that we wanted to create a spirit for you guys that was going to be able to help you with prosperity, business, commerce, wealth, happiness, and wisdom. So this spirit is able to work through any current that will bring that to you. Um, we have put great care into the creation of this spirit. Danny channeled exactly what the spirit wanted to be when she drew him out. So she got out of the way and just kind of allowed Fallon to come through however he wanted to be. So the image that you guys have all seen now, which I'll put up in the video here somewhere, is the final form that came through. He is a blue spirit with three tails, and he's got antlers. Um, now, he is unable to do anything illegal. He is unable to harm anybody. Um, and he is a very gentle spirit and will not work with anybody who has ill intentions or is just not a nice person. So, if you are not a nice person, I'm sorry, but the spirit just will not work with you. Um, we have tied him into the Fehu current as well as the Jupiter current. Um, this is just the way that his sigil came through. Again, we kind of got out of the way for this and it, it just became what it wanted to be. Um, and it, But it was very obvious which two sigils he had combined to create himself. Um, now there is a lot more to this spirit than just those things, but just the connection to Fehu and Jupiter will automatically cause prosperity to happen. Um, that it's a very powerful bind sigil all on its own even without the servitor tied to it So we have psychically locked this servitor so that nobody but us is able to influence it in any way um, We have made it so that if anybody tries to work on him and tries to put anything negative into him It will automatically be transmuted into something positive So absolutely nothing negative can be done to this spirit and it cannot do anything negative. It will trans transmute all negative energies and negative situations into positive situations. So that is one of its powers. Um, it is able to go through any avenue to bring you any of the things that it's good for anyway. And it will not bring harm to anyone. It simply cannot. Now the only way to actually work with this servitor is to speak to it by name call it Fallon, it, you, it must be fed positive affirmations. So if you're going to work with the spirit, we recommend that you call out its name, Fallon, I wish to work with you, and then give it a positive affirmation of any type that has to do with prosperity, health, wealth, business, commerce, wisdom, anything like that. So, I mean, I am happy, healthy, and wealthy is a perfect way to charge this spirit. Um, I am going to be working on a cheat sheet for everybody to use for working with the spirit so it'll have suggested mantras and things like that on it um, but basically any kind of positive talk directed towards the spirit will help charge it now the other thing it feeds on is attention and incense it is very particularly fond of lemongrass incense but any incense you have access to will work um, you must speak to him as if you're speaking to him like a friend. Um, he, you have to be kind to him at all times. If you are not kind to him, he simply will not work with you. Um, and so that's something that we felt was very important. We don't want this spirit out in the world causing trouble and mayhem and whatever. So it, 
will only do positive things. It will only do legal things. So it's not going to, if you ask for it to bring you $100,000, it's not going to kill your Aunt Betty and make sure that you get everything in the will. It simply will not do that and cannot do that. Um, now, the more that we use this spirit, the stronger it is going to get. So I'm going to leave it up to the patrons, but it's becoming very apparent that this spirit wants to work with the world. Now, how that will benefit us by it not just being used by patrons is the more people that use it, the stronger it's going to get, um, and which will very, very much, I think, benefit everybody. So I'm going to leave that up to you guys. Let me know in the comments what you think if we should release this spirit for public use or if you'd rather it only be used by patrons. I'm good with it either way. Um, I just think that a wealth servitor like this, uh, it would be very, very helpful for it to have, be out in the world to, gathering money and business and attention for everything that we want it to do. Um, so that being said, this spirit has almost unlimited powers. It is a Kitsune. Uh, I did a little bit of research on them and basically it's a shapeshifter. It can shapeshift in, into anything it needs. It is able to change reality. It's able to change time. It is able to, it has unbelievable magical powers. It's able to jump through dimensions. It's able to travel time. It's able to change outcomes. It is able to influence people. Um, it is, the sky is pretty much the limit for what this spirit can do. The only thing is it will not hurt anybody and it will only work with good-hearted people. So that is pretty good. Um, with it being locked, we don't have to worry about it ever being tampered with. It will just get stronger and stronger. And if anybody does try to tamper with it, anything negative will just be turned into a positive that will just boost the spirit's power. So we don't really have to worry about anything. Now the sigil itself can be used in any and all prosperity workings. You can charge it like a regular sigil, or you can speak to the spirit behind the sigil, Fallon, and have him work for you. Um, we recommend that you give an offering to him before he goes to work and then you come up with a deal for how to pay him once he has finished the job. So I give him incense to charge him up and then I ask what I want of him and then I offer him positive affirmations and then when he's done I will give him public praise and that will cause him to grow stronger and stronger and more people will see him and the stronger he will grow. Um, again, the public praise part we might want to leave out depending on if you guys decide if you want this to be a public servitor or not. So speak to him like he's your friend. You can charge the sigil with energy. You can ensorcel it with energy to feed him energy and make him stronger. You can give him offerings. He will accept food, drink, incense, beverage, music, um, anything that you can think of for an offering he will feed on and get stronger but he does prefer positive affirmations and incense. Now you must give him incense in order to send him to work. That is one thing that he has said he will not work without payment of smoke. Okay, um, he will also accept coins and things like that. And if you are working with him in order to create prosperity, he is also a very gratuitous spirit and will find it very helpful it, you will find it very helpful if you also give to charity in his name that is another offering that he really really likes um, so if you help somebody out or you donate to a cause or you buy some donuts for a homeless person whatever um, charity is a very good way to pay him off for completing a task so say you get a hundred dollars out of him well maybe think about giving five dollars to the food bank or something like that um, and so we're going to continue to learn about this spirit the more that we work with it. Um, it has been officially birthed and is out working. If you guys have any questions, please let me know and I will do my best to answer them. Feed him any kind of positive affirmation. The affirmation must be for yourself because he will only help those who are willing to help themselves. So I am happy, healthy, and wealthy is a great, great thing to start with. Now you may find that he will make money appear randomly. You may find that he will give you job opportunities. You may find that he will give you educational opportunities, like you might get offered to go to, back to school for something. Um, he may bring customers to your business. He may cause advertising to go off the charts. Um, it, there are many, many, many ways that this spirit can work for you. So please explore them and share with the group what you discover. If you learn about new attributes, share it with us. If you realize that he's turning into something else, share it with us. 
Um, as a shapeshifter, I would imagine he's going to appear differently for absolutely everybody, and he's going to be able to turn into whatever we need. Um, so that's kind of what I've got to share with this spirit for now. Um, get to work with him, draw his sigil out. I am going to start broadcasting his energy right now for everybody to use. So here I have got his sigil up and I am putting it under a conductor and so now his energy is being broadcast out into the world I recommend that you all give him offerings and thanks and gratitude and start saying your affirmations right away so that we can power this spirit up and let me know if you want him to be public or not because if we make him public I think that will make him much stronger for everybody to use um, we've put great care into making sure that he cannot be altered in any way and that we don't ever have to worry about him turning into a negative spirit so Think about that and let us know what you think. And thank you all for being our patrons. Have a great day.